Hello guys and welcome to Met Speamer. Today's video is going to be based on my F20 BMW 1 series. People have been asking me lately why they are getting water in their cars, basically in their footwell or back where the battery is. And I'm going to try and give some advice on where it could be coming from. And if you can think of any other places where the water might be coming from, just let me know. I'd be very grateful. Also, if you want to see more F20 videos, please subscribe. And also, if you want to see in-depth tours, please subscribe for that too. Because I've just done two videos the other day. One was a Nissan Skyline V35. Not the type of Skyline you're normally thinking about. Basically a saloon car, which is based basically an Infiniti and a Kia Sorento which was 2019 that was a lovely car but anyway feel free to subscribe like and share and all that stuff let's go and have a look so some people have been getting water in their front foot wells and the place where I would check first is under the bonnet as you can see I've just opened the bonnet and um, people have been complaining that their front foot wells have been collecting water. One reason could be due to this area here and this area over here being full of leaves and basically rubbish. As you can see, I have a few leaves down there, which is not good, but I always keep cleaning them out. If too much, um, if too many leaves get down there and it starts going all like goopy and, um, and it starts raining, it will start flooding the whole system out. So basically your, um, the ECUs and all that kind of stuff will, st will start getting destroyed. And also um, when it gets to a certain level, it will start, it will start um, seeping into the interior and going down the, um, the back and yeah, flooding out the, the foot wells. The next place, which would also cause flooding on the, on the um, front or back, is um, if you have a sunroof, which I don't. So it's important to keep your sunroof drains clear. A shame, it's a shame that I can't really show you really, I'm, I apologise. So another place to check on all four doors, for front and back, is um, checking the, what do you call it, the um, plastic behind this cover here. Basically, it's a weather barrier, which if it starts raining, the water goes down the front of it and rolls out the bottom of the door. If um, it's leaking, it will allow water to drip inside the car when the car's shut. Um, when I was younger, when I was 15 years old and I had my E30, um, my footwell became wet because my heater matrix was leaking. Um, I had um, cooling over my, all over my floor. So if you have coolant on the interior floor, it's likely to be the um, matrix, heater matrix. Oh, also, I used to have a E38 7 series um, and someone messed up my windscreen, basically. Basically, what happened was the, the garage I bought the car from um, got, a ga well, got a local company to fit my new windscreen before I bought the car. And... Um, the car was perfect for the first um, like six months. Then it started raining, and when it started raining, water started going down here, down my A pillar, and on the old seven series, you had the um, light control modules and all that kind of stuff in the um, basically where the footwells are, and it basically destroyed my E thirty eight, which was not good. So, if you just have one of these fitted. Um, take it back if it starts leaking basically so when it comes to the back doors make sure that the um, weather strip or plastic cover whatever it's called behind here is in one piece and there's no rips and tears or hasn't come adrift as I said before the water can get down there and yeah flood the rear um, footwells out and also um, I'm, I'm guessing that if you have a sunroof it can also affect the rear um, seats too. Another thing to consider is this just here. Sorry about the lighting in this garage. Um, if this isn't working, it could be that the pipe in the um, the pillar. 
Another thing to consider is if this here isn't spraying fluid but there's plenty of liquid in the front and there's no messages saying that the liquid is low then you could have a split line somewhere, a split hose which could be entering the cabin somewhere. Another thing to consider is if this here isn't spraying fluid but there's plenty of liquid in the front and there's no messages saying that the liquid is low then you could have a split line somewhere, a split hose which could be entering the cabin somewhere. Another thing to consider is the rear lights. If the seals on the rear lights are no good that can let water into the boot. Another place to look is just down here. Obviously um, these things here, so one second, try and adjust the camera. These little vents here on both sides um, can let water in easily. It's quite a common problem. Um, if your car's been knocked slightly, it can push this, in, this thing here inwards and damage the seal. I've seen that some cars, the water has come up so high that, so one second, that it can get into this system here where the battery is and destroy all the electrics as you can see here if you do get water in here there's a little um, kind of little bung thing there and one down there see just there that will let the water out a bit like you have in your your kitchen sink or something or your bath It is also worth checking um, these rubber seals out just here and on all the doors. So I'm trying to, there you go, these things here. Sorry I'm talking a bit funny today, <laughs> I'm still not used to speaking on the camera. And yeah, I can't take my car outside to film because I've got a flat battery today. I haven't driven it for about three months. If you can think of other places where the water is getting in, please comment down below. As, as I'm saying, I just want to help everyone as much as I can. And if you can help me too and help others, that would be great. Um, anyway, have a nice weekend and take care. Goodbye.